Korea, the Double Jump Tokyo, uh, leading Web3 startups in Japan. So uh, today we are going to talk about like a partnership with the Altria and what we are doing in Web3 gaming field, and also uh, what we are building build with uh, uh, yeah Altria for like roll up other services. To the topic of the partnership between the Altria, uh, let let us briefly introduce about our the games Battle of Three Battle of Three Kingdoms. So. Uh, this is a, a game uh, we are developing uh, from Double Jump, and it is licensed by the Sega IP, Sangoku Saisen. Yes, so this is a kind of uh, NFC art view. So it's an astonishing feature of the uh, Sangoku Saisen, uh, Battle of Three Kingdoms. So these kind of like, characters will be converted as an NFT character. So the players can like play uh, this kind of a hundred and and kinds of like, NFTs of like general uh, yeah cards. So this is a, a deck building feature. So uh, it's a, a very important part for the playing the games. So the players can build uh, the uh, the decks uh, with like selecting these characters, and also uh, uh, they can build the formation. And so this is very important part because the battle itself is the auto pirate, like this. So once the uh, users like decided to uh, uh, create uh, the like deck making, uh, the bat battle auto but battle automatically starts. So this is the in-game marketplace. The user can easily like buy and uh, sell and trade uh, like real trading card games. So we are like expanding strongly in Hong Kong. So uh, we are like thinking to have a, a like, simplified like Chinese languages uh, as well. So uh, yeah, once it comes out uh, in this year, uh, yeah, please play around it, and I, ho I hope you guys can like, enjoy th this game. So this Battle of Three Kingdom is on the Oasis uh, network. So Oasis, the chain is uh, uh, the speedy, the gasless for the users, and also the scamless like, environment. So uh, actually, the Double Jump Tokyo is the main developer of the Oasis. So it is dedicated for the blockchain, for the gaming. And the reason why we came to idea that uh, we, build, we are building the Oasis blockchain is that uh, this is coming from our like blockchain gaming development experiences. So in 2018, uh, we were uh, like uh, yeah building the blockchain gaming like fast blockchain game. They called uh, the My Crypto Heroes. And in 2019, we got the number one Ethereum uh, sales at the OpenSea. So. Uh, we got the user tractions, and after that, the DeFi summer came in, and the more the transactions besides the games happening. And uh, at the time, like uh, the players, uh, like needed to wait for like completing the like transaction like, for like a longer time, and also, um, yeah, uh, so like pay like higher gas fees. So we thought that uh, that that is not good for uh, the gamers. So we we wanted to like remove that the barriers. And so that's why we create this kind of uh, the blockchain. So the OSS uh, chain ecosystem developed uh, these like titles and layer two on the OSS. So we already uh, so the OSS chain has more than like fifty titles and also uh, the uh, ten layer twos as well. So we do have like a bunch of the games like casual games like RPG and the strategy games and so there are like various kinds of games and those content would be deployed on the uh, layer two. And actually, the Oasis has a double layered architecture. The layer one is a half layer, and the layer two, uh, so the, those layer two is like roll up to the layer one half layer. So actually, uh, with this kind of like image, uh, so there's, there's an increasing like demand for like building the layer two. So uh, one of the, like, uh, and also one of the contents like uh, the ch champion tactics, uh, from the Ubisoft will be also onboarded on the OSS as well. So, yeah, uh, so this kind of like a uh, change development needs are happening, and we are also uh, like working on a brand new initiative, which is called uh, Anime Chain. So, Anime Chain is uh, like a blockchain, uh, especially for like uh, AI and and contents. So, uh, there there are like three like main like components. Like one is the uh, uh, AI based model, and the second one is uh, um, the launch path, and uh, the last one is also uh, the deep in for the AI. And once the uh, AI model creates the uh, images, 
the creatives can like easily uh, you know, create the content and then produce like, more like uh, the qualified contents. And those co those qualified contents will be um, invested from the launchpad. And the more investment is happening, the token of the anime chain will be like valued or and like more like price uh, will come to that token. And th those like staked tokens uh, could be like used for like like GPU like cost and also uh, those like GPU usage could be leveraged by the creators. So this is kind of like iteration processes and. Uh, so that, this is like how we are like making it as like a sustainable ecosystem in the anime chain. So yeah, we are partnering up with some like teams. Uh, we are using the tech uh, called like chill out mix, and this is the advanced model of like stability, like uh, uh, stable diffusion, and also uh, uh, yeah, it's on the Oasis, and uh, we are like having the Japanese uh, anime professionals like uh, Tokyo Otaku mode. So uh, yeah, these are like. Uh, uh, the efforts uh, that we are doing. So yeah, uh, please stay tuned. So there are like, more new things that are happening on the anime chains. So yeah, back to the topic of the art layer. So actually we've already explained about like, what kind of like, chains we are building. So so there's an like, increasing like demand of like building like, uh, layer two. So the like, Japanese companies are like more like uh, to build the layer two. So. In that case, actually, so we are thinking that uh, we'd like to build layer two more easily. So that's why we are having the partnership with the Ultra Year. So we already announced the partnership announcement with the Ultra Year last year. So maybe I can share like some of the uh, the things uh, what we see as a really real value uh, with the partnership with Ultra Year, and maybe we, I can break down like three parts. Uh, one is that uh, the tech implementation. And second one is uh, uh, security and scalability. And number three is uh, uh, up, uh, chain update and management. So uh, the number one, uh, the tech implementation. So like before the partnership, we were talking with the partner and and I see even for like bridging setting, it was like, kind of like a, uh, difficult for like uh, developers who are really new to Web3 businesses. So uh, in that case, with the auto layer tech stack, uh, we can like easily build like those essential functions for the layer two, uh, maybe like uh, the native bridge between like layer one and layer two. So uh, that's a very uh, the good one. So the auto layer can like immediately like the setup, like maybe it's just uh, they need like five minutes or so. So second one is scalability and security. So uh, actually, uh, yeah, uh, sometimes we got the request from the developer that uh, they want to add like more like sequences to decentralize the security. So uh, Ultra Layer Tech Stack, uh, they, ha they have like several options uh, depending on the like needs of the developer. Uh, yeah, how much the developers like, want to invest on the like, security, uh, it, it really depends. So like, how much the, the, their like, budget is and also uh, the, the needs. So uh, the customizing with Ultra Layer Tech Stack, uh, yeah, we, we can like, offer like, various op options for like bus building, uh, layer two building developers. And lastly, uh, chain updates and management. And it's really hard for like uh, developers who are like new to Web3 business is that uh, so, like chain updates. For example, uh, the developer using the OP stack, it's kind of uh, really uh, difficult to like keep up the, like the chain update. For example, OP stack updates like every day. So that's the hard thing. But uh, Ultra Year is like having like a decent, recent uh, rollup tech stack. So it's the latest version. So the developers do not have to care about that kind of like updates like things. So that is really, uh, yeah, the things we are like seeing it as a value. So now, yes, uh, Ultra Year is available on the Oasis network. So it serves the rollup of services on the layer two of the Oasis. And yeah, so that that is like giving like more opportunities for developers to build their like own layer two on the Oasis. Yes. So uh, what we want to do is that uh, we want to like build the uh, uh, multi-bus like future uh, with all three uh, like from Japan. So with the power of the contents, uh, we can do that. So in Japan, uh, so we do have some like uh, uh, yeah games and anime and contents. So, and also with the tech stack of the alt layer, uh, we can build a more layer two and more like uh, versus uh, environment uh, from Japan. So yeah, thank you very much for listening.
So yeah, that is the end of, the, of my talk. Thank you.